Uh, I'm Pritha. Uh, I'm a fellow this year at the Berkman Klein Center, and I'm also uh, a research associate at the Harvard School of Public Health in the Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences. So I'm looking at how uh, population health can be improved with the use of technology, um, and in particular in low and middle income countries or uh, the sort of disadvantaged populations in high income countries. And in this, I'm looking especially at maternal health outcomes. So if I talk about recent events, we've had, um, we have this uh, universal identification system in India called Aadhaar which is being linked to um, track people uh, uh, and that has uh, potentially a lot of uh, use in public health. So for example, our TB program, tuberculosis program, uh, the financial assistance that is provided is being linked through that. The privacy implications of this are really huge. So um, I, I guess what is uh, what technology can do, we should also be wary of uh, those those very same things at the same time. So uh, that balance is, is uh, I don't know how we are going to find it. I'm working on it myself. Uh, so the potential is huge. But if you say, like in a country like India, if you say that uh, you're not going to provide the services if a person does not have that ID yet, uh, that is because uh, you, you have to understand implementation is a huge challenge. So that is a problem. And secondly, the privacy part of it really scares me because you're linking all sorts of data through this one uh, ID and the government has access to all of it. So what I, I don't think enough is being done to address that or, uh, or even research on that to sort of how to uh, mitigate those concerns. Like how can you use the technology for the good but also uh, uh, you know, reassure citizens, like there should be a mechanism to protect the privacy of citizens and I don't think enough is being done on that front yet.